Before opening his engine shop, Nemesis Performance, in St. Andrews, Manitoba, Canada, Justin Anning worked for his family business doing helicopter rotor blade repair. Justin was in charge of tool design, development, and manufacturing, which included CNC machining that he taught himself how to do. While helicopter rotor blades were the family business, automotive tinkering was always a family tradition as well. Justin got into tuning Subarus and quickly began modifying them. From there, it was only a matter of time before his love for Subaru engines exploded. Justin went from tuning to making closed deck blocks, to fabricating, to full on engine building, and started Nemesis Performance in May 2017. Nemesis will offer customers of its Subaru builds anything from an OEM replacement to several different stages of Subaru builds depending on their horsepower goals and budget. We recently spoke with Justin about his top tier Stage X Subaru build, a 2.35 liter closed deck package, and it's our engine of the week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade. Precision Performance Pengrade. Always the original green oil. Visit Pengrade1.com and L Ring Das Original. Sealing the OEN aftermarket with premium gaskets and sealing science for over 140 years. Do the job right and use the best. Visit lring.com and Scat Crankshaft. Everything for your LS engine. Visit scatcrankshafts.com. Hey everyone, I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder, and today we're talking about Nemesis Performance's top of the line Stage X Subaru engine build. It's a de-stroked, long rod, CNC closed deck block with dart and sleeves installed. That, that's probably our, our, our biggest and baddest build we've ever done. It's basically a 2.35 liter. We've done a lot of the math on uh, you know, what we feel is gonna make a, a smoother motor based on the maximum rod angle or you know, the rod and stroke ratios, as well as the uh, average piston speeds uh, relative to a uh, regular 2.5. It lends itself well to higher compression, whereas Subarus actually don't like high compression because of the, the factory uh, rod and stroke ratio. That's why they're always, you know, 8.2 to 8.5. You know, so you see some guys playing around nine, but then they're really kind of uh, knocking on the, the door of the knock threshold where the static compression of a, a true de-stroked long rod motor uh, actually likes higher compression. So we're in the vicinity of about 10.7 to one, almost 11, 11 to one. The engine block is Nemesis's own in-house CNC closed deck version four block along with dart and sleeves. The shop also did a half inch head stud conversion and internally the shop used tri-beam rods which are a two millimeter longer rod, king bearings and a JDM spec two liter crankshaft. And that's where it gets its de-stroke nature from. The, the benefit of it is not only the shorter stroke, it's got double cross-drilled oiling capacity so you get double the flow of oil especially to the number three main, which has double duty on uh, number three main is actually supplying oil to two bearings. That's really important for us. The engine also has a set of custom CP pistons, which are 10 and a half to one compression. The build recipe on the pistons is the Real Street 1500, which is a parts supplier for Nemesis. They're actually a domed piston, uh, custom built by CP with vertical gas porting, as well as lateral gas porting. It's got the oil support rails in them, and they're coated, you know, all pretty much all the bells and whistles on those CP pistons. For camshafts, Nemesis chose a mild Brian Crower 272 cam, along with titanium retainers and Brian Crower valve springs and stock valves. The cylinder heads got a mild port and polish in-house, and the intake manifold is from the Subaru Forester, which is a long runner manifold and has comparable airflow to aftermarket manifolds. The oiling system is a JDM 12 millimeter oil pump. We service it in-house. We do a little bit of our own modifications to them. For the bottom of the block, the unsupported butt buttresses of the, the block on the bottom end, there's th uh, two or three main webs that are not supported by the rest of the casting. So we're kind of developing something a little special for that. To top off this 2.35 liter Subaru Stage X, Nemesis added a Borg Warner S369 SXE twin scroll turbocharger that provides 50 to 55 pounds of boost, and the engine runs on methanol. We've ran methanol for a year and a half now, just because in Canada it's harder and really expensive to find E85. So I don't do things that people normally do. Uh, I always 
look for something different and, and methanol just it just seemed different we've had great success with it this particular 2.35 liter stage x closed deck subaru engine went in the shop's street strip development car and will be used for drag racing according to justin the horsepower goal is 1100 horsepower to the wheel and that's pretty impressive for 2.35 liters well that does it for this episode of engine of the week Thanks to our sponsors, Pengrade One, Scat Crankshafts, and Elring. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have an engine that you'd like to see featured, please email me at gjones at babcox.com. We'll see you next time.